Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos un súper video, es una entrevista desde la sala de espera. Este tipo de videos ayudan mucho para que ustedes se den una idea de cómo son las entrevistas y el día de la entrevista, todo lo que esté pasando, ustedes entienden por qué el oficial está dando estas instrucciones. También incluimos la representación de lo que se hace en la tablet. Esto es clave porque al final de la entrevista y durante la entrevista, el oficial utiliza una tablet que tiene en la mesa y hay cosas que se tienen que hacer. Por eso les recomendamos que este video lo vean en forma detallada muchas ocasiones y se graben muy bien todo lo que está pasando porque créeme te va a ser muy útil el día de tu entrevista ahora amigos eh, muchos de ustedes nos han mandado preguntas acerca de la nueva n400 nosotros tenemos bastante contenido acerca de la nueva n400 pero estamos esperando para ver quién es el que lo necesita no queremos confundir a nuestra audiencia ayúdenos a saber qué tipo de contenido necesitan vayan a la zona de los comentarios y déjenos saber si ustedes van a hacer el examen con la nueva n400 con la N400 antigua pueden comentar simplemente nueva o pueden comentar antigua de esta manera ustedes van a decidir si seguimos haciendo más videos acerca del examen antiguo con la N400 antigua pues o empezamos a hacer muchos videos con la N400 nueva porque créanme hay personas que ya están yendo a su entrevista con la nueva N400 nosotros tenemos un segundo canal de YouTube que se llama Citizen Ahora este segundo canal ponemos experiencias y vamos a empezar a publicar personas que están yendo a su entrevista con la nueva N400 para que así ustedes se puedan informar cómo son las nuevas preguntas de la N400. Ahora, si no quieren esperar más y necesitan ya la nueva N400, recuerden que tenemos nuestro curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com. Este curso ya está actualizado con todas las clases de la N400 en inglés y en español para que la puedan estudiar. Además, siempre que existan actualizaciones, nosotros nos toma un día o dos cuando mucho actualizar el curso y siempre va a estar con la información más fresca que nos dé el servicio de inmigración, obvio. Y de esta manera ustedes siempre se pueden estar preparando con la información más reciente. Entonces ya saben, si quieren prepararse con el mejor curso y siempre estar actualizados, tener el apoyo de nuestro equipo respondiendo todas tus preguntas, eh, tener acceso a audio, transcripciones, te damos un número de WhatsApp para que nos mandes tus preguntas y tus comentarios que tengas o dudas de acerca del proceso de ciudadanía, eh, ten, tienes acceso con nuestro curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com, es el único lugar que puedes obtener nuestro curso y prepararte lo mejor posible para el día de tu entrevista. Entonces ya saben, comenten si les gustaría que hiciéramos contenido con la nueva N400, comenten la palabra nueva y si les gustaría que siguiéramos haciendo videos con la N400 antigua simplemente pongan la palabra antigua o anterior o antes así nos vamos a ubicar muy bien vamos a la práctica del día de hoy mucha suerte recuerden si este video les resulta útil no olviden dejarnos su like last name Marcus Hi, how are you doing today? My name is Officer Garcia, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can I see your appointment letter? Perfect, this way, please. How is the uh, weather outside today? That's great, this way. Please step inside and remain standing next to the chair. Can you please raise your right hand? Do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Okay. You can put your hand down and you can take a seat. Do you have your permanent resident card and your ID with you? If you can show them to me, please. Yes, just hold them up so that I can see them. Okay. You can put them away now. Now you're going to place your right index finger on the fingerprint scanner. Now I will need to take your picture. Please pay attention to the camera. One, two, three. 
One more second. Perfect. Thank you. Did you fill out this application yourself? Who helped you fill out this application? Is there any information that you need to update on your application? How long have you been a permanent resident? Okay, what is your date of birth? What is your complete name? Are you going to change your name? What is your social security number? What is your height and your weight? Where were you born? Do you have any marriage certificates or divorce papers that you need to show me today? Okay, if you can please set them on the table here so that I can review them. Okay, I will make copies and give you back the originals at the end of the interview. What is your marital status? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? How many times have you been married? Were you ever married back in your country of origin? Have you ever been divorced? Are your parents U.S. citizens? Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Do you have children? How many children do you have? Are they your biological children? What is your address? How long have you lived at this address? Where do you work? Okay. How long have you worked there?
Now, regarding your trips out of the United States, when was the last time you traveled out of the United States? Where did you travel to? How long were you out of the United States? How many trips have you taken out of the United States in the last five years? How many total days have you spent outside of the United States in the last five years? Now, what is one thing you plan on doing if you become a United States citizen? You will need to answer six questions correctly out of 10. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? How many amendments does the Constitution have? The House of Representatives has how many voting members? What are the two major political parties in the United States? When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. What is the capital of the United States? Who signs bills to become laws? What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Okay. Now we are going to do the reading and writing portion of the interview. Please pay attention to the tablet in front of you. Please read the following sentence that you see on the screen. Now, on the same tablet, please write the following sentence. The citizens elect Congress. The citizens elect Congress. Okay, great, thank you. Now, please answer yes or no to the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title? or an order of nobility in any foreign country? Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? 
Have you ever not filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Have you called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? When was the last time that you filed your taxes? Can I see your latest tax documents, please? Just set them on the table so that I can review them. Thank you. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States or in any other location in the world? Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated with the Communist Party, any other totalitarian party, a terrorist organization? What is communism? Have you ever advocated the overthrow of any government by force or violence? Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? Were you ever involved in any way with any of the following? Genocide, torture, killing or trying to kill someone, badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose, forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations, not letting someone practice his or her religion. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in any of the following groups? Military unit, paramilitary unit, police unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, guerrilla group, militia, insurgent organization. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in any of the following? Prison or jail, prison camp, detention facility, labor camp, any other place where people were forced to stay. What is a prison or jail? Okay. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person or help another person sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? Did you ever receive any type of military, paramilitary, or weapons training? Did you ever recruit, enlist, conscript, or use any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed force or group? Did you ever use any person under 15 years of age to do anything that helped or supported people in combat? Have you ever committed, assisted in committing, or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? Okay, what is a crime? Okay. 
Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Have you ever been charged with committing, attempting to commit, or assisting in committing a crime or offense? Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program? Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? Have you ever been in jail or prison? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? Sold or smuggled controlled substances, illegal drugs, or narcotics? Been married to more than one person at the same time? Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? Failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? All right, have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? Have you ever been removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been ordered, removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? Are removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings currently pending against you? What is deportation or to be deported? Okay, have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? Are you a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? What is the form of government of the United States? Okay, do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? What is an oath of allegiance? If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Okay, give me one moment. Okay, please pay attention to the tablet in front of you you're going to see some information about your application and your interview today. You're going to have to sign three times. Go ahead and start reviewing and signing the documents, please. Please keep scrolling to the bottom until you see a pink button. Press the button to begin signing. Okay, two more signatures, please. Scroll to the bottom and press the button at the bottom to sign.
And one more signature, please. Okay, great. Here are your documents back. At this time, I am going to recommend your application as approved. Congratulations. So you, what you're going to do next is step outside into the lobby and you're going to wait there for further instructions because you're actually going to have your oath ceremony today. Yes. Do you have any other questions for me before we end your interview? Okay, great. Once again, congratulations. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Citizens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Citizens Ahora.